Hey guys, and welcome back. So today I wanted to show you guys a couple of ways that you can optimize your experience with the Fly-By-Wire A380. Maybe get a little bit uh, extra frames or just get a better performance so you're not getting the stutters and the crashes. So stay tuned and I'll show you guys how to do that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to flightsim.to and I'm going to put this link in the description down below. And you're going to go to this page and you're going to download uh, this zip file right here. Now the zip file is uh, 1.42 gigabytes um, and all it is is it's really just uh, new textures for the aircraft which are lower quality. So if you don't mind uh, the cabin not looking so great um, and the cockpit having some textures that are lower quality, it really does improve the FPS and uh, decreases the stutters. So once you've done downloading this file, you're going to unzip the files somewhere on your desktop or somewhere where you can find them later. And what you're going to do is you're going to go into your community folder or the location where you've downloaded the fly-by-wire aircraft. So mine is right here. And then once you click on it, you're going to want to go to sim objects and you're going to go to airplanes. And then you're going to find again the fly-by-wire underscore A380 underscore 842. And in here, you're going to see a folder called Texture. So these are the textures here. So you're going to copy the ones that you just unzipped and you're going to paste them in here. And it's going to ask you if you want to override. You're going to say yes. And once it's done doing that, you can close these windows and then start up the sim. So guys, unfortunately, I lost the, uh, the video file with the uh, FPS before the texture change. Um, but I can tell you that it was sitting somewhere around 15 to 18. Um, now I've done the texture change on the sim, so that's what you're seeing now. I've enabled the developer mode, and I'm just going to show you guys the difference. So if I go back in here, and I go to... Actually, you know what? Let me show you guys my options currently, just so you can see. Um, since I had the sim, I've been running it on high-end, uh, especially with the lower aircrafts. It hasn't been any issues. Uh, it is on a 1080p. Uh, screen. I do have TAA enabled. Um, I am running it on Direct X 11. Everything else is just kind of set up by um, by the choice here of the high end. So this I haven't really touched anything. Okay, so here we are in the sim, and you can see that in the cockpit I've gained substantial amount of frames per second. So I'm up to 25, 26, and this is just in the cockpit. And you can see that as I rotate around, it's quite smooth. I have no issues. Whereas before I had a lot of stuttering and it wasn't that great of an experience. I can see some of the lower quality textures now, like especially on the seating and on the floors and stuff, but nothing major. Um, most of the cockpit, especially the areas that you're looking at, to me look the same. Um, and if there is any difference, I can't notice it but you do get uh, a pretty good jump in frames here. So just quickly, I wanted to show you guys um, what happens to the cabin. So here again, you can see a couple of lower textures. So the cabin itself, you can kind of see, it does go into a lot lower quality, but that's fine because I mean, I don't really spend much time back here anyways, at least for now. And I guess the hope is that eventually uh, fly-by-wire will come up with some sort of an enhancement pack or or textures that will uh, reduce the load on the system in the future so that's pretty much where you're getting those uh, frame increases from is the lower textures mostly in the back and some here in the front now just some tips from what I've noticed guys um, this aircraft uh, just because it is fairly advanced um, I've noticed there's some things that do cause it to take a performance hit and for me it was causing the sim to crash quite frequently. The first thing is using, I'm going to show you what it looks like, if you have uh, access to Navigraph, um, this mapping system that you see here, it doesn't look like it's taking that much of an impact when you look up here because we're in the sky but if you're using it in a populated area or a bigger airport, for me it was causing a lot of crashes. So I tend to just uh, turn this off and fly without it. It's, it's better that way. 
Um, and the second thing I had an issue with, to be honest, was the sim bridge um, from the fly-by-wire app when I wanted to see the terrain. So it is functioning, it does work, but I find that when I turn that on, probably about a minute, two minutes afterwards, the sim would crash. Again, the same thing, load in, in heavy cities or heavy sceneries would uh, would cause it to, to crash back to the desktop. So I avoid using those two features and so far everything has been working great. Um, and you can see that it's pretty stable, even on the outside. Um, there, I don't believe there's any texture changes with that uh, the mod. Um, on the exterior, I think it's all interior, but you can see it can fully go around the aircraft. It's nice and smooth and my frames are pretty pretty consistent sitting around 24 23 So now it's a it's a good flying experience and if you are still having issues because uh, Like I said, this aircraft is pretty heavy on the system. There are a couple things that you can try so first thing is this mod makes a huge improvement so try out the mod first. Um, the second thing is we can take a look here in the settings. Uh, the most uh, easiest thing you can do is obviously do the global rendering and maybe go down to a medium or a low end depending on your system specs and see if that helps. Um, if you're a GeForce user you can go here to uh, the anti aliasing and you can change this to NVIDIA DLSS Super Resolution. Um, this does help. It's not going to get you that much in terms of uh, frames. Um, as you can see what it's done, I mean it's still usable. It's made it a little bit smoother I would say. Um, but you can say you've taken a little bit of a hit when it comes to the sharpening of uh, all this information you see on the screens. Um, even up here you can see this is a little bit blurry. but. Again, if, if you're having a, a really big impact uh, with flying this aircraft, you can try that and see if that will help you increase some, uh, some frames. Just another quick tip guys to help with the performance. Try to avoid opening up multiple programs or having things open in the background um, that are eating up your system resources like memory. Um, believe me, it'll it'll go a long way and help as well. So don't try and have anything big or or running in the background that's using up resources. Um, in my case, uh, like I said before, I used the mod. I wasn't even able to record. Every time I opened up the recording program, it was crashing. Um, now with the mod, like uh, like you see, I am using the recording program at the moment, and I'm still getting 24, 25. Uh, up to 28 frames and if I close the recording program it goes 30 plus so it, it does make a difference okay guys so I just want to show you quickly a landing um, so you guys can see the difference in the frames uh, from being up high to down low so right now we're gonna land in LPPT so that's Lisbon Portugal um, the city itself is photogrammetry and the airport is a payware airport so I'm expecting the frames to drop, um, but hopefully we still have a good experience going in. In the background, I am running the flight recorder uh, small program that I found on flightsim.to just to record the replays. And obviously my, um, my screen recording software. So again, there's a little bit of extra load on the sim um, on top of the aircraft. And just before we go there, I have switched my settings uh, back to what I had it before, so I'm using the TAA um, and I'm using running this on everything else on high end with DirectX 11. So everything is back to my regular settings. So let's see how this landing performs. So right now we're just over the water, so not much has changed. We're still sitting at around 25, sometimes it goes up to about 30. Uh, but we're descending fairly quickly and uh, once we get uh, over land again, like I said, I'm expecting the frames to drop, but let's see, let's see how much of an impact it, it causes. I don't really know what comes next, I'm just doing my best even though I'm so stressed out. Everything just feels like a test that I feel so depressed when I can't seem to get out. But something deep inside won't let me quit. I swear that I'm inspired by all this. Tell me that I can't and I won't. That's what guides me the most. You lies, I'll do what I want. 
Also guys, I am running the 4K version of the aircraft. I forgot to mention it earlier. Um, there is a 4K and there is an 8K from the installer. Again, if your system is not that good or you know if you want better performance, try and stay with the 4K. Um, it will give you better performance. So as expected, it looks like now we're sitting around 20, 19, 20 FPS. Um, so we've lost another 5 FPS uh, just uh, getting this close to the ground. And see, it keeps dropping. Now we're sitting back at 15. So let's uh, let's see how how bad it gets. Another thing, guys, try to avoid switching between cockpit and external back and forth, because um, every time you do that, it uh, again it causes a little bit of a spike on the load. So especially during the landings, you can see that it uh, it takes up quite a bit. So you don't want to be messing around going in and out. So even though I'm sitting at 13 FPS, um, I mean it's not terrible. It's still doing its thing and it doesn't look that bad um, and again if I didn't have the recording software on I'd probably gain an extra 5-6 FPS so it wouldn't look uh, that bad anyways so small way back before we blew it all too many things going on i can't keep track of them all from people dropping a bomb to people putting up walls i feel like life is on hall perception stuck in a vault i know that time can kneel all but how much time till we fall it's awfully chilly outside when there's no shelter to hide when everything is a lie you'll find that out in some time but when the things on your mind so the one good news guys i know you probably didn't notice it but even though the frames were down to 10 and sometimes less um, I was able to at least complete the flight and land whereas before without the mod as I was approaching or coming close to the airport even from far away I was getting crashes to desktop so like I said with the recording software I was already taking an impact of about five frames um, so you can you can see the difference that I have now at least I can complete and finalize a flight so that brings us to the end of this episode, guys. I hope this video was informative. Um, Fly by Wire and their team have done a great job with this aircraft. I know it's uh, been three or four years in the making. So I'm really happy it's out. Um, so if you guys like what you saw, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. The hunger, pain, and burst. Just find whatever you got and try to be thankful first. I wanna feel again. I need a couple friends. I never really understood just how the story ends, but I could feel it.